Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you which functions to use in Excel to add one month or several months to a date and compute this date correctly. Uh, I'm going to take one month and several months as an example. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how it works and you will be able to access the final file with all the formulas right below the video. I'm going to put the link for you so you can access everything and uh, follow with me when I build it. So. Um, so I here I have a set of date we want to compute. Uh, um, so we want to add one month, four months, 18 months, and so on. Um, so naively, when I see that, uh, I want to add 30 days, for example, uh, to this date uh, and see what happens. The problem here is it's not going to fall. Um, it's not going to be exactly one month because it depends if the month lasts uh, 28, 29, 30 or 31 days. So we're going to have a problem. Sometimes it's here it falls uh, correctly. Uh, sometimes it won't. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, and we don't want to compute, uh, you know, all the durations of the month and so on uh, by hand. So we're going to use a function which has all of this already uh, already computed and it's edate. So edate, it's a function that you can use to um, compute one date from a start date when you add some month. So I take first parameter of the start date, so here January 7th, and I'm going to add one month each time. So I'm going to use the formula in all the columns. And what we see is that it falls on the correct day, so here January uh, 27 February 27th each time it um, is the same day of the month which is what we want um, if we uh, if we want to add one month of course if you want to have to add uh, 30 days uh, fixed a fixed period of 30 days you just add 30 you don't need uh, this function but uh, edate is cool to always have the correct day of the month and, and of course it works for any number of um, months so I can do edate to, um, well, from my start date and add four months and it's going to, so of course, um, by default, it gives you a serial number. You know, a date is just uh, stored in Excel as a serial number. It means it's the number of days which have passed from, um, the, uh, from January 1st, 1900. So about 33,000 days. If you want to display it as a date, you judge just change the format and put um, whatever date format you prefer. Uh, and if I had four months, I see I still fall on the seventh day of the month, which is cool. This is what I'm expecting. And even I can add uh, periods that um, that uh, that are longer than a year. If I take this, this start date and I add 18 months, again, need to apply some date format um, I'm going to fall in well next year January 7th is July uh, plus 18 month is July 7th of the next year um, but it still computes and even um, can I I'm not really sure I can use e date in the past but we're gonna check it right away if I do e date of this date minus two months what do I have? I actually it works as well in the past, so that's even better. I know I want a date. Um, I want even. Um, I can even use it in the past, so I'm going to put two months earlier. Um, and of course, this is going to work for all my set of dates that I have put in the in my. Uh, in my table and you see that each time uh, the day of the month is um, is the same we keep the same day of the month which is what we expect so this function edate is really cool uh, which allows you to fall um, to compute correctly this number uh, this new date so you can download the file right below I'm gonna put the link as usual for you um, and uh, I will see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe this year. This way you will know as soon as I publish it. See you tomorrow, champions. 
Bye, ciao.